And I see what you guys were up to today, and you know, down at uh, Grove, it was just fucking popping. Like you guys took out the whole fucking thing. Um, as usual, Spire was like thirty seconds to do his, and, <laughs> and everybody else was like, "Oh, yeah, wait a minute!" Tell. Hit that. <laughs> <laughs> Hit that quickly. Yeah. Tattoo's a very different beast, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's very. Yeah, it slows me down a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I actually yeah. had more fun going around the back and bombing the back up. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah. Okay, is there cut it's backing right, on, on tattooing? No. no. Is there what? Back. Sorry. Cut back. You cut can't back. cut back. No, no, no. cut Once back. It's there, yeah. it's there, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to do, there's no going yeah, yeah. white over it. I'm just yeah. gonna get the white and go yeah, over that black delete. line because it's not happening. Basically, yeah. no delete. Killer, killer, podcast. KillerKellerOfficial.com You need the KellerVision app. 24-7 mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top fives, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the App Store for free today. UK frontline. Beatbox created. Killer Keller. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller podcast. Alright, eh? Room for a little, ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller podcast, live and direct, central London or central as you could be, wanna be, should be, don't wanna be anywhere else, god damn it, not for this time of the morning anyway. Big shout out to graffitikings.co.uk, hold tight to everyone that's got the television app, download it free, alright, you've got no excuses, and sharing is most definitely caring, big shout out to everybody who's been following and supporting us all from the jump. Uh, there's a character here, and uh, f- f- past and present friends are inside. Um, and uh, without question, uh, part of a bigger organisation, uh, which we've already discussed. This is a part two. We have the mighty Spire and Siren in the place from the upcoming with huge excitement. I'm going to shout out Sacred Letters inside the place. Yeah, you get me, boys. <laughs> sacred Lettering, mate. The movement. I mean, I'm a gusher on this shit, man, because, uh, you know, I react on energy. And for fuck's sake, you guys are really, really do it. Hold tight, Nero. Hold, hold tight, Angel, that's been on. Hold tight, everyone that's in the crew, man. Hold tight, the Everyone's whole putting the work in and doing their shit. Really putting the work in, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, mate. Siren, this is your first time in the pod. My first time in the pod, yeah. yeah How are you I feeling to... about it? I feel good, I feel good. <laughs> He's in that Eskimo flow right now. Oh, I'm on the Eskimo, yeah. I'm sure I'll be warm by <laughs> Low then. Low key, but it's cold outside. Yeah, yeah, it's cold it's outside. True, true. <laughs> it's even but... colder inside. Yeah. <laughs> What's been going on, Spire, since we were last in? Just working, mate. Just just knuckling down, trying to get this this thing popping. Mm, Things real popping. what's happening, yeah. yeah. For those of you who uh, ain't, ain't uh, watching and listening, Spire's rocking a proper ballet. This time, last time was a fucking scariest ballet. I think <laughs> 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 the sacred lettering ballet. This shit was the it's realest ballet, ballet, baby. Branded yeah. up. Yes, the logo. It's the brand, isn't it? Branded Keep this, up. Keeping this going, man. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, we're going to go to all angles and all edges of the globe mate we're gonna doing everything here is that the because i spoke to neil and angel if you guys have checked out the last podcast with the team this is yeah, part of a trilogy the is boss, this the this is the S. it's right you guys yeah. are there's, there's the, i mean you guys are some of the proprietors of this you're the creators and creators. yeah yeah this is a real organization that, that you've got big plans for isn't yeah. It? yeah well me and, me and nero came up with the idea well we've been thinking about it for years and then at the beginning of the lockdown, man, we was, we was like, "Now nah, fuck this, we're gonna we're gonna start a lettering graffiti crew because there isn't anything like it in the UK." And you know, there's a few other places in South America and that that have got their little clicks, but mm. you know, there's a movement going on here. It's been and needing we, to happen for a little while, and yeah, and we, we'd heard this from a couple of other like UK lettering dons that you know there needs to be a movement going on. So me and Nero, we kind of like come up with the idea and the concept, come up with a name, and mm. we've just kind of like brung in the dons of the UK basically. Like proper dons. I mean, yeah. all tight siren inside. The incoming Respect siren. Yeah. <laughs> incoming. Yeah. Incoming. Yeah. Incoming. Yeah. Know it. Know it. Um, tell us about yourself, siren, because you know what I mean. You, your name gets bounded around. It's good to put face and voice to the thing. Oh, definitely, man. What's been definitely. going on, man? Yeah, tell yeah. us your story. Yeah, well, it started since a since a long time ago now, really, man. So I think I was doing my I did my first dub in '93. You know. Damn. And then we've like progressed through. I, I've you know, I lived quite a few places, done a bit of travelling, and yeah, I picked up tattooing, thankfully, um, in 07. Hmm. So then, 
then I've just been since then. I haven't really stopped. I've kept sort of tattooing, but at the same time, keeping the graffiti alive too. Mm, mm. I got to a point where it kind of fused between, yeah. you know, the graffiti. And then I was into this sort of gothic flex in 2006, you know? Mm. Yeah, German but gothic, was, I got right into that as well at the same time, I That's reckon. it. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then it sort of, it started to evolve then. And I went abroad and went to South America and really immersed myself in that. And um, yeah, yeah, I've just kind of stuck with that flavour, but I still have my like old school UK kind of vibe with the dubs or whatever as well. You yeah, know? I kind of like to keep value, that original yeah. graph feel to it, you know? Yeah. This is something that is a bit of a narrative in the whole crew is like you're yeah. also widely spread apart yet so... Uh, you're you're so in inclusive with each other in your styles, but you've also grown up moving around a lot of you guys. Mm, yeah, you? yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. 100%. I don't think we've ever set, st stayed in one place. To be fair, no. yeah. yeah. I mean, a lot of us we were travelling up and down the yeah, country man. anyway. So mm. you yeah. know, having connections up and down the country only makes sense for us, really. Yeah, hundred percent got that in common. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and, yeah. and everybody's the... moving around a lot as well. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Which yeah, cool. Because you've all been in different countries. You've yeah. Yeah. travelled and well yeah. travelled. Yeah, well, I've and from in a few countries. Simon's tattooed in. God knows how many countries. Mm. You know what I mean? You, yeah. Mm. yeah, we've been about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And and you mentioned because uh, before we came on, we were just you know sending a note to Motorhead and Lemmy and the, the whole punk thing. Yeah, like we yeah. and I think again the gothic side of of mm. this you know, the whole Chicano sacred letters thing, right? And I call it a sacred letters thing because you know, I mean this this our equivocal of what yeah. you're, you're talking about the the, the the crews that are tattooists in, yeah. in America. Like the influences are mm. a far different a far cry from what they, their influences yeah. are yeah but we still take our you know influences from like South America's side as well yeah. because it all stems from mm. the Chicano yeah. really doesn't it yeah. and the irony of it yeah that, um, the, the Latinos they use the gothic font but the gothic font is you know old English isn't it so yeah mm. we kind of as English people yeah. we've got that kind of Old right. D kind of vibe, yeah. Right. So if we're gonna make it gritty, it's like, yeah, we'll choose yeah. the gothic too, you know. There's a yeah, that's the. I mean, if you look at my letters at the minute, they're, they're, mm. they're quite, you know, old Englishly gothic, but yeah. with like a fade and old old va graffiti values to yeah. them. Mm. Yeah, my stuff I mean? often got referred to as like tattoo style. You yeah, know? Mm. before anyone was like, oh, Chicano or kind of yeah. like a cholo, like. Gang styles, yeah, it was tattoo, tattoo, tattoo style. Mm. Tattoo Wait, why are you doing yeah, your tattoo yeah, yeah. letters? That's <laughs> it, bro. yeah, it was tattoo letters. Yeah, but how ironic that that translates into tattoo actually does. It does, well, and then yeah. you can feed back into it. And next thing you're developing, it's on its own energy, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah, it's taking a, a role, and it's, we're just going with it, man. We're just yeah, trying yeah. to get everywhere, you know, trying to brand it up. You know, Nero made the logo. He's killed it with that, yeah, man. It's, just, it. it's the impact of it is. Solid, you know what I mean? Serious, yeah, you know, serious. He's been making up T-shirts, you know, all the crew's got it. We've got, you know, a couple of crew members working the Brighton convention this weekend. Yeah. Big up Tommy and Connor Pembroke and that, do you know yeah, what I mean? Well, they, yeah. They've been killing it. Yeah, let's know. get into this. Who They're is in the crew? Too, yeah. Let's talk about, because there's a lot of heads. There's a lot of tattooists and There's 12 writers. of us. Angel calls us the 12 apostles. 12, yeah? <laughs> yeah, I think there's 12 of, of us, yeah. yeah. So there's, there's me, Nero, Angel, Siren, Yanko, um, Connor Pembroke, uh, um, Tommy Tattoo uh, who else is there we've got um, Nurx uh, come on Siren Illy, help me out. Illy um, come on yeah, <laughs> you're gonna, uh, you leave me I, hanging now. I, feel, I, feel like we, I feel like we've named <laughs> the main man yeah we've named pretty much everyone anyway but you know it's, 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 there's a few of us and we're, we're getting it cracking man yeah it's, you know it's, what I mean and I've got to say this as well Spire if, as, a, as a fan first I love the fact that you were sick before, then you did the tattooing. Now I feel like, bro, like you're coming into your own right now. This shit you're pulling off right now is just like, I, 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 you know, as a friend, it's sick, bro. Like, yeah, I'm cool. just, I just, do you know what? I, I don't know. I just want to make a legacy. Mm. You know, yeah. you're if not for a long time, but for a good time. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So mm. you might as well just leave your mark while you're while you're yeah. here, innit? Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know what I mean? You know. Near, uh, near Rock and uh, Angel alluded to the kind of communication and uh, the 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 way that you guys um, have forged a friendship within the creative sphere and how tattooing it's, it's obviously influences each other, but you as in graffiti and tattooing are influenced by each other, but you guys yeah. are actually really championing yourselves and, you know, the WhatsApp group and pop, you, yeah. things pop in and, yeah, and whatnot. We, yeah, we do talk a lot yeah, and, you yeah. know, sh share a lot of images and tattoos and mm -hmm. yeah, work and, you know. A little network. Isn't yeah. It? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, we try and boost each other up, you know. Yeah. If we don't like something, we'll say, you know, maybe change that or, mm. 
And it, no. maps, it maps out a lot of the country as well. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it does, yeah. So it's like a coverage, like a full UK thing. Yeah, yeah. I think that's probably why there's, there's so much energy towards this at the moment. I mean, I know there's going to be people out there, because big shout out to everybody that's been doing the tattooing thing from day. And of course, like, Graph is paramount on this podcast, but but it's just nice to see that that influence of Graph and yeah. it really being taken seriously. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, there is a lot of graffiti artists that do do tattoos, but mm, they, yeah. you know, they're so separated, mm. they don't really yeah. combine them together. Why do you think that is, though? I don't know. Maybe I, I'm not sure. I there's, a, there's a lot of uh, graffiti artists that are doing other styles of tattooing. Yeah, you know, mm. there's quite a lot. But I suppose we've we've kind of chosen this yeah. this, this kind of specialist with the with the cursive letters yeah and for that, sure you know? yeah and scripts basically yeah. yeah yeah and there's so many big shout out London Boy big shout out Trap House like the, yeah. the people that have London been Boy yeah man Sick. for real like and there's people out there that have been doing this thing from, from day I just love the fact that there's there's not one man above the crew on this yeah. one nah. you guys seem to be just like yo here's our mission brief yeah I've, I also forgot Neos and Youth them two are fucking OGs as well, you know. Well, remember. <laughs> well, well. Yeah. Now, them, yeah, two are, remember, them two are killers, man. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Youth, yeah. mate, he's smashing it up where he is, man, and his tattoos yeah. are so clean. Hey, he's got big energy. Yeah, he? and yeah. he's such a nice guy, you know mm. what I mean? He's just an all round OG himself, mm. do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And Neos as well, man, he's like a young Jedi, like, you know. Yeah, young Jedi. Yeah. He's up in Hull, he's doing his thing, he's doing a neo traditional thing, you know, you know. It's mm. like graph on skin, you know, yeah, he's yeah. killing it. So yeah. you got With the black and grey. You so you got I mean? Hull, you got Leeds on lock, you've got uh north north of that, you've got yeah. Brighton, you've got Bournemouth, Bournemouth yeah, Talk to me. London, London, yeah. London. Uh, you know, yeah, Croydon, yeah. Nottingham, yeah. you know, Bulgaria, yeah, we're Colombia, hit- <laughs> <laughs> we're hitting Brazil. spots in between yeah, as well. You know? We've got Cyprus yeah, yeah, yeah. on lock, you know what I mean? Yeah, Ireland. We're here, I mean, because we're all kind of multicultured ourselves, do you know what I mean? We're not like yeah. Straight Englishman. No, true. no. <laughs> true. We've been brought up with a culture in, yeah. in both ways, isn't it? Yeah, Siren, I think yeah. you you reminded me of a time when you had actually done piecing. We'd, you, you'd met me at a show or something. I had, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I was glad that you remembered that as well. <laughs> yeah. that, that was cool, yeah. I remember it very well. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I was out the back. I remember it was like a cold, dark evening. I couldn't really see much doing a like a backdrop for a nightclub, hip-hop evening with all of my crew at the time. Mm. And yeah, and I remember you poking your head out of the back saying, oh, you're right. I just sort of come out and have a look. Yeah. I was like, oh, yes, bro. I'm Killer Kelly, yeah. And then and we introduced ourselves and yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. History, but I remember seeing the, the expression on your face like, oh, yeah, yeah, it's happening here, you know. Yeah. yeah. And, and this is the thing, see, but until you put culture in a place, because like North, Northampton it was, yeah. wasn't it? And uh, it mirrored, a, it mirrored a, a very similar sort of um, scene as someone like Petersburg or yeah. uh, Luton. You know, it's like it's it's own incubation place, and like yeah. you have, you, I'm, I was used to be so surprised yeah, about yeah. seeing that thing, but in such a micro, like intense version. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. I mean? And not to be bad to the town, At but all, it was yeah. a, a town that had trouble and and all of that, mm-hmm. and and that had really grown out of <clears throat> that kind of dark place. You know, mm. yeah, it was cool. It was it was honest. You know what I mean? It was mm. honest graph. Mm. What yeah. do you guys see in like? As travellers of of this this culture at the moment, and you all of you living in so many different places, what do you see in what do you see in different parts of the city, cities and towns? Well, every city and town's got their own s- yeah. style. I mean, even London, you know, you got the four four corners. Yeah. Each corner's mm-hmm. got their own style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can tell who's from west, south, north, and yeah. east because they've all got where well, they used to. They all had yeah. their own yeah. style. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, and you yeah. could be like, yeah, he's from up north, especially North London, lot man. Yeah, you could tell you, a few years style. ago. You could tell a lot better though. Yeah. Like, now it's now it's very like. Current, that's why we yeah. we come in as well because it's not like everyone else's mm. stuff. Do you know what I mean? Mm-mm. The only other places they're seeing it is Mexico, LA, and probably another Latin American country. Mm. But a lot of other countries are bringing it on, you know, Italy, yeah. they've got some sick lettering guys, you know mm. what I mean? Mm. Yeah, and, and just to <coughs> just to relay that with, within the school of thought of tattooing, because when I see what you guys were up to today and, you know, down at uh, Grove, it was just fucking popping, like you guys took out the whole fucking thing. Um, as usual, Spire was like 30 seconds to do his and, uh, <laughs> and everybody else was like, Oh, if wait, you can't wait. tell. <laughs> hit, that, <laughs> hit, that, hit that quickly. Yeah. Tattooing's a very different beast, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's very. Yeah, it slows me down a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I actually yeah. had more fun going around the back and bombing the back up. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> but I it's got that same. Well. It's got that same vibe. Like graffiti's got that vibe. Where tattooing, you can, you can, 
go too painstakingly and like too slowly. Yeah. And really? Then, and then you're being too fussy over it and there's, it loses that, that looseness, that energy, you yeah. know? Whereas to, to sort of relax a little bit with it, like with painting and not mm. be too concerned about cutting it back, you know, that's a, that yeah. can be a nice balance. Right, yeah. so this is 101 for me because I'm not a tattooist. I spoke to this on another podcast, but okay, is there cutbacking right, on, on tattooing? No. no. Can't is there cut what, back. sorry? Cutback. You can't cut back. back. No, no, no. cutback. Once it's there, yeah. it's there, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to do... There's no going yeah, yeah. white over it. I'm just yeah. going to hit the white and go yeah, over that black line because it's not happening. Basically, no <laughs> delete. No, no go That's straight back over with paint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not the same, no. You know, you've got one chance. But the thing I like tattooing people is like, you're getting up. Yeah, you know, yeah. every person I tattoo, whether it's an initial or a date or anything, yeah, yeah I'm getting up. That's and that's the way I look at it. Is the yeah. more people I tattoo, the more the better. Yeah, Do you know in, what I'm in, in a way, in a way, yeah, you've got your stamp, you've got like something recognisable that's just running around out there. Mm. The, yeah. l- longer than graffiti, really. Yeah, it's, been, well, it's yeah. older than graffiti. Yeah. Well, it's about the same, yeah. same age, really. There's cave, pa- cave mm. paintings when there was a uh, tattooing. So, exactly. you know. We'll see what happens in the future. But tattooing has its right. has its trends as well, doesn't it? Like you know, sometimes you see some of the older school, guys, even the '90s tattoos. You know, oh, they're you, all coming back now. Tribal's they're coming, coming back, back in now. Oh, yeah. yeah, Tribal is coming yeah. back, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Which I said, is a mad I said one. that a year ago. I said, watch when Tribal comes back, yeah. and it's coming back. It literally it, swung back, yeah, then, yeah, didn't yeah. it? But to be fair, my favourite form of tattooing is Japanese. Mm. Yeah, you know, it's true, got man. it's got the perfect balance. It's got colour. You know, yeah. it's got background. It's got strong mm. image. And, we and it lasts right. forever. Mm. You know, you can get it done when you're 18 and you're still going to look as strong as when you're 80. And you see it at a little 18. distance and it still looks... It's still it's crisp. It's still it looks strong, like yeah. meant to mm. look, you know? And then I, I, I mentioned Mash Cow um, in the other... In, in the New Rock and Angel podcast. Like, that... There is a, there is a trend that's happening right now. Yeah. You can't defer from a trend, can you? It's, no. it's no. part of a course, isn't no, it? No, no, no. no. I don't mind, it's just future cover-ups for us, isn't it? But, yeah. More work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just more work, then, you know? Yeah. But then, the, yeah, the, the trends have always got the authentic people in there, yeah. right? Yeah. So, yeah you're a right. lot of it's Im- imitation, and then and then there's a few people where they've actually evolved and developed those letters that mm. everyone is using now in a weird way, you know? Yeah. But do you think, like, you're, if you were to say, okay, this is a siren tattoo and a siren piece, do you, do you think they both correlate? You can see if it's a siren tattoo and a siren piece. Yeah. You know, yeah. Preset that, bro. Uh, yeah, you look. do know. You can see. Yeah. Same with Near Rock. Same with all the artists, really. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, like, even with Angel, you know that's yeah. an mm. Angel tattoo. Yeah. Same with Connor. You know that's a Connor yeah, yeah, tattoo. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Same with t- all of them. You just, mm. even Dripper. You know, big up and Dripper. That, I forgot Dripper as well. Yeah, <laughs> Dripper, my just sorry, bro. But even Dripper, mate, you know, you can see his tattoos and you know that's, that's a Dripper tattoo. Do you know what I mean? It's mad how many of you there are in a crew. Yeah. Yeah, man. And also the Good study story. of the letter with. In, with, on skin yeah yeah, man. I and don't then, think that would have been the case back in the day to, to correlate between no, a no. piece and a, and a tattoo like you can now yeah no, no. I mean yeah it's all evolved but you wouldn't go in and, you wouldn't go in and someone just pull out a sharpie and just like sh- 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 no. draw it up and then and then boom we're, we're tattooing you know mm. is it that simple yeah yeah, yeah it can be yeah yeah of yeah, course I mean look, we use stencils as well but then yeah freehand letters yeah, yeah. that's, that's okay I've got out. questions right so, <laughs> so, so <laughs> if, I just, if I, I could tattoo you now if I have a sharpie <laughs> yeah. and my uh, cordless rotary yeah yeah. if I just had an ink cap we could just be tattooing now yeah literally light work it's that simple now it's that simple really. now but the thing is with these, these rotary a little clinical pens, tray or whatever anybody can do them you know everyone's picking them up because they see how successful tattooers can be, yeah. everyone wants that success now and think they can yeah. become a tattooist. Is that a disadvantage for creatives, for people that have been well, doing Well, yeah, because then it just waters down the scene, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah. Because everyone's doing the same... Yeah, but at the same time... stuff. At the same time, on the same hand, like, competition is good. Competition will push. Yeah. Um, you know, it'll push everyone to, to out, outshine yeah, out, from those yeah. levels of generic... Talk I mean, you. since since I've been in the, the crew, since I started the crew, I filmed my lettering has jumped about ten times, I just because of the yeah. pressure. Yeah, yeah. And the, yeah. the, and the, and, and the pressure. Yeah, yeah, and the yeah, skill yeah. that's in the crew, I feel like I've got to keep mm. up. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah and a, that's good. It's a, it can only mm. be a good thing. There's an energy to like it's kind of speed up evolution, really. You know, yeah. with all of us, if we yeah, what keep is that, that about going, creative you know? people? How come that we have this desire to speed things up? Yeah. And be your own. I mean, being your own competitor, it, 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 you know, being in competition with yourself, is yeah. always a good thing. Yeah, man. But what is the desire of going so fast? That's so, so, so bizarre, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Because you go further. The more you do, the further you go. I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the more you pump out. Yeah. You know, 
the more you got. Yeah. And I guess that for tattooing is similar to graph. It's like, you know, yeah. you're bombing something, I guess it's the yeah. same practice. Picking up little tricks every yeah, day. There's, you know, yeah, there's all techniques. Always learning. Like, you never, I don't know, you never really feel like you're a master with the can. Like, you never really feel like you're a master with the with the needle, but, you, you know. Mm. Mm. I think persevere it and you get yeah, better. Yeah, you do feel like you are a master, you're probably not a master, mm. you know. Yeah. So it's like that pursuit of what you can almost never get. But yeah. But who is who are other contemporaries out there at the moment? Like I, I think Sacred Lettering kind of holds a lot. Well, it's for the UK. It, it's I mean, beginning to hold a lot. You know, Lettering Milano out Lecco, in Mexico. Melandro, yeah. Pretty fucking do oh, some yeah. dope shit. You know, you got yeah, some sick crews in Brazil. There's some heavy artillery out there now, yeah, man. There is, yeah, man, this is a big, it's a big wave there. universally. Yeah. And then, and it's nice because they're all, they're reaching out to us, going, yeah, yeah. we're rating your shit. You, you see, you that? see, yeah. you see, like Chicano shit coming out of South Korea, and yeah, yeah. yeah. you know, yeah. and they're yeah. dope at it. Yeah, they're harder. Yeah, they, yeah. they're not yeah. fucking around, man. They're yeah. Yeah, applied people too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kind of falls in. I don't think the tattooing aids this, but I think there's obviously gang heavy presence of gang related stuff with graffiti uh I, and yeah, I, it's the same with that with Chicano same shit, as well. yeah, yeah. yeah 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 I mean in America you get you get um checked if you go into the penitentiary or whatever or the yeah, police they, they they check your tattoos I mean they sort of I think they sort of say you do in the UK but it's not it's not like America yeah. you know well, Australia, you, could be, you, you could be rocking certain tattoos that you might have innocently got being down with certain people, which might be like a big gang thing on the other side. You yeah. Know? yeah. Some numbers, yeah. for instance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I, I mean, in, in Australia, they have to, the tattooers have to submit every tattoo they do to the government, to the council, I think, the council. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just Something so they know yeah. who's, who's what yeah, tattoos, yeah. if it's gang related or whatnot, mm. if they're going to prison, blah, blah, blah. It's all, it's all to do with the bikers. Yeah, I was. I think I, 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 I joked about this. If in doubt, blame but the bikers. Just, no, but you know what? The bikers, they did a lot of good in the tattoo industry. They, oh, you know, they, yeah, yeah. they kept things legit. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So I went to the Brighton Tattoo Convention last night. I didn't see one biker. Mm. And that was pretty sad for me. Yeah, that is I was sad. just like, yeah, yeah. it's the end of an era. Oh, that is a, that is a, a bit of a core, a, a little bit of core missing. You yeah. Know? I mean, they, they were like the originators of tattoos in, in the, you know, back mm. in the day, yeah. you know. If you went to a shop, For real. it was a biker shop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, we, and we do pay homage to, uh, yeah, yeah, to the I traditional tattoos. All, the, all to... the bikers, man, who, who tattooed and all the old school homage. tattoos who paid the wave, mm. man. Because, you know, mm. they used to make their own needles, inks. Or, yeah. We don't have to do any of that shit. Well, I did yeah. when I started, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, big shout out to Lal Hardy as well that's my guy Lal yeah. Hardy's fucking safe yeah that's yeah. my, cool, that's my G yeah, yeah, yeah hold tight Lal also Charlie Brown R.I.P. Yes. he needs to get a big up on this yeah, all day big he was shout a little out. bit upset when I didn't big him up on the last one but you know yeah, shouting him out now R.I.P. my G yeah, yeah big up uh, Emily she's you know stood by me the whole time and you know backed me in it so big yourself there you up go, baby. there you go um, I can see I can see SL rolling up in motorbikes <laughs> to, to, to all the fames and yeah. to locals to, to, to wall spots. You know what I mean? I can well, see it. We do paint, you know, freights as well. Yeah, I've I know, seen. I know, I know the London boys are like freights there. So, yeah, mm. but, you know, it's part of the the culture of that sort of lettering yeah. as well, you know? Yeah, they do a I'm lot so of glad you said no, that. I just thought that was, I, yeah. I didn't know that was fat, but when I see it on freights, I don't see it on any on anything else. No, it yeah, doesn't yeah, make yeah. sense in my mind. Yeah, but it still it still has that raw feeling. It has that essence, you know. Yeah, ain't that a thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the fact that they actually they move actually they moves around a lot. Yeah, yeah. they get about more than yeah. you know normal trains. Yeah, but also there's a lot to do when it comes to a, to a Chicano style piece. There's a lot of I mean, no, well, it's very straight. It's, it's either yeah, really it's straight hot. or it's got the, the angles, and you know they're yeah. not easy to do. No. No, because he's a beast, man. I don't know how he does it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, no, no, it's, it's a massive there. as well. Yeah, they're big. Yeah. Man, yeah. he goes in so yeah, big. Yeah, and he's he only little. Yeah, man. he puts the work in, man. I'll <laughs> give it to him, man. But that, that's his vice, so mm. good on him. Any other influences in terms of, like, the tattoo and graffiti merging? Because this is quite an opening for a lot of people. Boog was very big for me. Oh, rest in peace. Oh, funny. Yeah. I was Mr. Cartoon. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mr. Car- yeah but Boog was, Boog was big as yeah. well for me, like, big seeing his early flash. Yeah. That was what was around in the studio. Yeah, I got my knuckles done by Boog, man. When you I did? Him, yeah, when I met him, you know, he was a, he was a really good guy. Yeah, that's a that's blessing. That's mad you met him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah you, you know. I used to chat to him quite a bit on Instagram as well after he tattooed me and that. It was, it was good. That's cool. Yeah, when yeah, I was hotel. Like guy, I was a bit nervous. I was like, oh, fuck. I was on my own as well. I was like, fuck, man. I'm going to go meet this fucking Chicano dude. Dawn, yeah. In his hotel in London, you know, some five-star hotel. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. It was funny. And then I, I went in. And he was doing. He actually done about three or four tats before mine, and I, I was sat there watching him doing, and I was asking him questions, and he was telling me what you know, 
I had a good night, to be fair. That is that is the kind of intel that you, you know, even having a conversation with you on podcasts is mind-blowing, but the fact that you were there and witnessed something that yeah. you couldn't be witnessed anymore. Mate, it was jokes. Yeah. He was like, come, we'll get a picture of uh, yeah. me, and, me and my knuckles and you and your knuckles. I was like, all right, don't oh, know. Then he went, stop it. he went, big sleep, so I was like, yeah, sick. Oh. <laughs> Yo, have you so got, got a picture? picture of me and him like that. <laughs> 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 that's something else you got that picture still well, I've got that yeah oh, that's, cool. that's about man sorry what are your influences well, talk to me about yeah. talk to me about Emergent Graph and, and tattoo influences you might have Emergent Graph yeah yeah. yeah 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 Emergent to be honest with you my uncle lived in um, in Stockwell by the, the by the Hall of Fame I went there from really early like before it got painted up and I used to like run around there with the, with the other kids from, from the area I remember <laughs> and then the pieces from Trick and Clone come up and that was like Whoa, I remember being really young, must have been like 13 year old with a little camera. <laughs> I'd already seen a couple of things on TV on like 89, 91, I think it was a program bombing. Mm. Or heavily like inspired, but obviously only a kid. Mm. I remember like drawing, painting out little brickwork on paper and then just oh, graphing doing the it up. First. Yeah, 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 from <laughs> being way, way young, like Yo. you're talking about nine years old or something. Yeah, I just had a thing for it. And I remember seeing it thinking, yeah, I wonder who those, those people are. And like, mm. I love the whole ninja kind of vibe to it so yeah that uh-huh. pulled me in by the time I was like 13 14 I could do I could do me a little dub I had a had a little bit of hand style in that you know mm. and yeah and just started from Good local area thing. but it wasn't like the best area to hit so I'd just travel really so right from the beginning I'd always train train here train there mm. bus here bus there just mm. trying to get about as much as possible and as many places as possible, really, you know. Your shit's got a lot of energy to it. And then, and then it's like from yeah, hip hop as well. Yeah. Thank you, man. Thank you. It's like a it's like fed a... off hip hop, like nineties gangster rap, really. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, and, it's like, and, and original like, you know, the UK hip hop. Letters got that little kind Yo, of. Yeah, it's yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, a little bit of rough riding. That's <laughs> yeah, it's true, actually. <laughs> you got yeah. me on that, man. You got me on that. Yo, let's go. Yo, that's mad. But it's like you know that it's that that look though that it's 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 powerful. You know, mm, them, yeah. them kind of letters are powerful letters. I always, always mm. like that that stuff that looks strong. And you look like you wouldn't want to fuck with it, you mm. know? There's that Nordic look within the the, the the thrash metal and, you know, goth metal scene where they've got yeah. the kind of yeah. crazy... Bolts ang- coming off them bolts, as well. Bolts, yeah, 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 bolts, yeah, yeah. Like, early, na- like, napalm death, hold tight. Like, <laughs> when you talk, death. you know what I mean? Like, they really had that yeah. thing locked. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I think the black country also hold a yeah. flag yeah. to that. But there is a there is an association there, isn't it, with mm. branding and, st- you know, you said Rough Riders. We yeah. 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 can do dis- similar when you look yeah, at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's like, well, it's like this logo yeah. here, it's just powerful, it's, yeah. you know, it's just... And and the you know homage to the, you know the, the London writers and, and a lot of them, but the London writers they really did they did their straight letters mm. yeah. and you could read their name you know like mm. you could yeah. go to other places you wouldn't see I always liked the idea that you could read it yeah yeah you know? that's right I was always sort of a little bit graft to me yeah wild style burners and all that's mm. different but you know like if you yeah, it was I never nice really went to, to wild styles I was more keep it simple yeah, yeah but there's that Suck. beauty in there Do you know what I mean like, right? Yeah, that was, that's simple. a very London thing, isn't it? Do you know it? what I mean? Yeah. Stacks, keep it simple, but yeah. flavour. Yeah. A kind of diamond cut. Killer. Yeah. Fig, yeah. The old figs. Yeah, killer. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah man. I mean, yeah, these are, these are iconic moments in the with the styles. Graft. I, used to, mm. I used to love looking at them. What, Check as well. You so know, what I've you, said that before. Yeah, yeah, hold tight. All that DDS. And if you haven't checked out the, the Killer Keller podcast, Scar as well, FDC. I, I, I did, took a lot of influence off him. Of who? In the day. Scar FDC. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, FDC man yeah. gets nothing but love on this on this channel. Yeah, that's for yeah sure. I took a lot of influence off them. But what, so, what's your? If you were a punter, and you saw the influence that uh, Chicano was having, and I'm talking about from that era of UK graph, and you see, Spire, I don't think it would have worked back then. It wouldn't have worked, would it? It wouldn't have worked yeah. back then. No. Isn't that yeah. mad? Isn't it? Like, yeah. like, it might not have called everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. But it's been going for years and years and years in other countries. It's mad how it's all of a sudden just slowly starting to emerge. And, it's, and again, this is why I bring up sacred lettering because you guys are the first people, in my, to my understanding, that are actually are. Or pulling an organisation together, like they're falling in line with the rest of the world almost. Yeah. 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 It's all about travelling now. Yeah. Mm. Doing the conventions. Keep I think we're going to be doing around. a London convention. We're doing a, I think we'll be doing um, the graffiti and we've got a couple of booths there. A couple of the artists are going to be working it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, if anyone wants to get tattooed by any of us, all you got to do is just click on the page, mm. Sacred Letter and Sacred Instagram, Letter, yeah. and just yeah, just hit up. 
you know, the admin and they'll let you know yeah. what's what. I mean, I've warned you, it's going to be a thing. It's, this this thing is a movement, is yeah, do you yeah. know what I mean? So really we're going to be up and down doing conventions. I mean, like I said, we've had a couple of members doing Brighton, we're going to be doing London. Do you know, next thing is now we're going to be doing abroad. Yeah, obviously, mm. majority of us ain't back. <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah. What's the standard on What's the standard on that for internationally? Like, in, comp- in competing with what else is out there, is there is there really like? Well, a, there's a lot of competition. I mean, man, Aussie, oh, some of the Aussies, mate, are fucking sick. Mm. Really? Yeah, man, yeah. they're letter, they're on point, man. Yeah, and then it seems to have different different kind of special specialities yeah, in different countries like different and all that. You know, like you look at some Spanish artists, it's like, oh, super clean, yeah. almost like the way they got their graph is super yeah. tight. Mm. They could do realism and all that yeah. with the can, you know. Really, so like they're putting a, off realism yeah, with yeah. the letters, yeah, things like. Oh, yeah, 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 sometimes color realism. Whoa. Yeah. Um, I mean, you check out all our artists. I mean, we all do different stuff. You know, we got artists that yeah. do realism. We got artists that do traditional. We got artists that do old school. Do you know what I mean? We've yeah. Got, We've got artists to do everything, you know, Greek gods. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 I knew he was going to say that as well. But, we, you know, we do, we've got artists yeah. to do everything, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So if, if, you, if there's anything you do want and you want to get tattooed by us, then all you've got to do is just call up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, we're, all, we're all reachable. And we'll have not, a little bit not, of that graph edge to it. Yeah, you know. You know and you'll have a good like time obviously with Obviously done well. by a graffiti artist, but yeah, it's got that, that yeah. kind of core... Basis to That's it, what people you know. Want. It's got a little bit of a, a bit of a rawness, yeah. but with a with a tightness, the same, you know. Do yeah. you see the diff- like, for instance, China has always been, you know, Asia has always been prominent in the tattoo field. Yeah. Do you see like a more heavier influence of their, you know, generations upon generations of influence? Well, Do you Japan, see that in Japan's the Japan's just been legalized yeah. about uh, in the past couple of years, so I right. think there's going to be a lot. It's going to change of, everything. Change a lot. Yeah, a lot of wicked studios opening. Especially how hard they work, yeah. and uh, you combine that with it being acceptable now. Yeah, they can walk around with their yeah. faces tattooed or whatever. They're gonna, they'll be getting yeah, they into it. They can do conventions. The and judgment will start to go like mm. it's been over here. You know, like now, now you don't get so judged. It's so normal. Do you want to hear something funny? The other day, I had two two ex old Bill bring their daughter in, and they all got tattooed together. Stop yeah. it. Yeah, they actually brought yeah. their daughter. Yeah. So they all got yeah. tattooed. Yeah. So ain't that a culture shift, isn't it? Yeah. We but talked that's about the thing with that's why I like walking shops because you don't know what's gonna yeah. come in. Mm. With private studios, you know, you mm. kind of get gist. Yeah, I think yeah. the UK embraces tattooing now, definitely. Yeah, they do. Big shout out Dave Baby as well. He told me a story that, uh, you know, he'd walk in after after a night out, you know, he's had a couple of drinks, but he had like shrapnel left and he'd just go into a tattoo place. Yeah, can I have two quid's worth just on that? Yeah. I mean, that was just the culture back then. Yeah, I so. paid a tenner for my first tattoo. Did you? Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> A tenner. a tenner, it thunk it. Tenner, I traded mine for a graph piece in the garden at a tattoo studio. Yeah, Stop yeah. It. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> literally. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, go trading tats for graph. Shout yeah. out to Chris, man. Respect, bro. Hold tight on that. Yeah. This is this is really becoming a brand. Uh, what we're looking forward to here most is, uh, I guess, us all rocking the ballets, the t-shirts, the hoodies, the gloves, the trackies. Yeah, the, you know. Your, your mobile phone covers, whatever. Yeah. You want cup, we we'll make your cups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Want a lighter, we'll get them made. If you were to do a soundtrack of SL, what would it be like? Do you reckon it would be it'd like be, a punk? Do you reckon it'd be it'd, it'd drum be bass? Mm. it'd be hip-hop, drum and bass? all sorts. It'd be grime, drum and bass. I don't know, it'd yeah. be a bit of everything. What do you reckon? Yeah, I reckon you'd even have a little bit of reggae in yeah, there. Yeah, a bit of yeah, a bit a dub, bit, maybe. A, bit, a little bit of Spanish, you never know. Yeah, a, a bit of mariachi, for yeah. sure. <laughs> <laughs> But you there's, guys are influenced by so vibes, much, though, right? Like you, you know, you've all come up through different walks of like yeah, yeah, hip hop. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm half Latino. My, my father's Colombian, you know. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My mum's from London, so. <laughs> yeah, when when Lyric said that he was, you know, Greek descent, and then of course his angel, he's Brazilian. He's Brazilian. Like it goes to show that you know there's a there's a flair to this. And yeah, we've well, we got you know Yanko and Illy, they're Bulgarian. Um, yeah, strippers great. from Australia. Mm. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. There's a lot to look forward to here, boys. Yeah, man. Yeah. I mean, we just want to travel and just we'll do this, isn't it? I mean, if anyone wants to book us for a paint or tats, just mm. let us yeah, know, yeah. man. But oh, you know, we're there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, as we know, we're as working we know. hard. Hard work pays oh. off. You know what I mean? That's right. It really we only, does, re- my brother. We only yeah. represent to the best on the Killer Cat yeah. podcast. You know it yeah, is. Yeah, mate. Um, this is part of a trilogy, so yeah, I yeah. won't leave you long, guys That's any longer it. because we've got another one to fill. This is pop, pop, and it don't pop. stop there. The next one's on its way. If you're watching and so listening on a on a playlist, then you know exactly what's going on. We've 
got the next one coming up. But if you ain't, then hold tight because the next one will be around real soon. Sacred Letters, Spire, what, what? Yep. Siren, my brother, inside the nice place for people. Respect, Killer Keller. Thanks for having day. us, man. Thank yeah. you for coming through, thanks for, man. Yeah, thanks oh, for promoting, man. Because, you know, everyone said, yeah, you've been shouting about it. Oh, mate. Lovely. It's all that it's effort's on you guys. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're, you're, you're moving in the street. You're doing it in the shops. This is it. Right, Killer nice. Keller podcast. Yeah, you, man. All pop, energy, pop. man. Yeah. Outlight in was out of fashion. Big shout out to the boy. Sacred letters inside the place. The next one's on its way. But if not, hold tight. Continual podcast every single week. Street culture. <laughs> Don't talk to anyone I wouldn't, all right? You stay lucky out there. Easy. Peace. Peace.